constant velocity drive shaft fitted in almost all uh, of our on-road touring cars. I'm really keen to try these out in my buggy. Hi guys, Brett here from Hearns Hobbies. And today I'd like to talk to you about Hot Bodies, drive shafts and universals. So the drive shafts, um, I would like to say are the old, an older fashion design are a universal drive shaft. Um, you can see there, they've got the, the, the two pins um, and this is what comes in, in the kit with your E819 RS, your D819 RS and their, uh, all their off-road range. Now that's because they're extremely rugged, reliable and have been found to be the most uh, robust in competition. But what I would like to talk to you about, however, is the CV joints, the hot body CV joints. Now these are uh, hot bodies 109857. Um, and they come in the, in the on-road range. Uh, on-road racers will be more familiar with them. You can see them here in the, uh, the GT E8 that I've got here. If I hold that up to the camera, if we can see in the hub there, just in here, you can see that we've got the drive shaft coming in to the CV joint where there's a rubber boot and that orange, orange sleeve, if you will, that pin retaining sleeve. So I'm going to have a look at that. We're going to have a look at assembling one really quickly and some of the differences in the, in the product. Now, while I'm doing that, I'll also explain to you some of the differences. Um, you know, the universals have been found to, to create a little bit more of a power surge or a little bit more of a, an, a, a want to straighten themselves up. So in as far as your suspension and stuff, when it's at, um, when, when you're at droop and, and the drive shaft is spinning around really fast, it's going to have an inclinancy to try and straighten itself out. Now the CV doesn't do that as much. So it's said to give you a more supple car, a little bit more uh, relaxed and a little bit higher corner speed. Uh, I haven't done much testing with it myself. I'm looking forward to getting a set in my car. The main difference is they're also 20 grams lighter. I've weighed them up for the pair. It's about 25 grams. Now across a pair, that's that's quite substantial. So that's if you put the full set on your car, you're saving yourself nearly 50 grams of rotating mass. So that should equate to good acceleration as well. Now in the, the CV kit, we can see we've got two pairs here. I'm going to quickly assemble one for you. Um, so I've got all the parts here in my in my little tray. Now they go together quite easily. So here we have the bone. You can see it's really good quality, hardened steel, precision machined. Then that goes into your stub axle, if you will. Now this is anodized aluminium. Now it's extremely light and very well machined and anodized. Typical of, very typical of uh, hot bodies and their production. So there we have the drive shaft barrel. Gonna slip that in there. Now, a little bit tricky part is putting the drive pin through. Now you can see here, there. Now the drive pin goes in. Ordinarily, in, in my cars, what I would do at this point is then I would apply the grease. Now I would use a white or a lithium grease in there, um, just to sort of pack it with grease, make it long lasting, um, as well as probably dampen any harmonics coming out of the car. Then I go as far as slipping the, slipping the drive shaft boot over there, like so. Then it's as simple as putting your spring retainer sleeve in and look at that, you have yourself a beautiful, beautiful drive shaft assembly. Now in this hot bodies kit, it also comes with your wheel hex, which again is a precision lightweight. Uh, these are the narrow ones, which is a standard fitment in the kit on these cars. Um, and last but not least, then we've got the locking, the locking grub screw for the hex pin. So once that in there, you can imagine that going through your, your front or rear hub. Um, and where that goes into the bearing, it actually squeezes that sleeve over the shaft, over the, sorry, over the drive shaft boot, and that keeps it all sealed, tight and secure. Now that is a beautiful assembled drive shaft. And you can see here, it is just so smooth. Even at this angle here, which I wouldn't even I wouldn't even figure to guess what it is. It is nice and smooth. This one here, when I do it with the same one, you'll see that it's trying to straighten itself up. 
you see my hands moving. Yeah, and, and as the speed increases, it's actually trying to straighten itself up. Whereas this one here, the CV joint, should be, should be producing a more uh, linear power curve, if you will, and a more constant drive, hence the name constant velocity, constant velocity drive shaft, or CVD, CVJ even. Um, yeah, fitted in almost all uh, of our on-road touring cars, 10th scale, 8th scale, you name it, it's in there. So I'm really keen to try these out in my buggy. Definitely worth a look, guys. And thanks for watching today.